There is no doubt today that China is a serious player when it comes to various technologies, whether in the field of LLMs with Quan, with DeepSeek, and with other models out there. DeepSeek created a shot in a market. It's not only about having the compute and having the infrastructure, it's also a lot about optimizations, about innovation and the approaches. This year, uh, DeepSeek created a, a shock in the, yes. uh, in the market. How, what's your take on that? Deepsea got a shock to the inter international community of, of AI. Few lessons learned there, I, I believe, from an institute also that is an advocate of open source. Right, The first one is a reinforcement of the power of open source and driving innovation and driving optimization to the entire efforts that are happening on large language models, moving into reasoning, moving into AGI, moving into physical um, AI, right? The second one is it's also a good um, incentive or a good lesson learned that it's not only about having the compute and having the infrastructure, it's also a lot about optimizations, about innovation and the approaches that, that you adapt with uh, training the model, with the post-training of the model, and then the usage uh, uh, after that. How do you see China's development in technology in the world stage? I mean, there is no doubt today that China is a serious player when it comes to various technologies, right? And this is, I guess, this is being proven with the technologies that are coming out of, of China, right? Whether in the in the field of LLMs with Quan, with DeepSeek, and with other models out there. And I guess up to a few years ago, or up to actually like a year ago, there were very few models that were coming out of China. And then with Quan and DeepSeek, then there was a reinforcement of the position. Um, other areas, for example, like humanoids, like robotics, like the physical embodiment of, uh, of AI, of autonomous technologies in, in general, I mean, there is no doubt that there's, there are huge advancements that are coming out of uh, China, other advanced technological areas like, um, other, uh, like biotech, fintech, and others also, there is um, high achievements that are coming from there and you know that are being used sometimes as benchmarks to, to uh, or as a baseline to advance technologies based on them. Right, but now we see United States put a lot of restraint on the Chinese technologies. How will that impact uh, China's technology development from your point of view? I think for, for technology to flourish and for innovation to move forward, you need a balance. You need a balance between what, what you can put as open source for others to use and to build upon in order to continue with the development, in order to continue with the advancements. And you need regulations. Regulations are not meant to restrict. They're meant to act as a feedback loop into the technology um, development, right? This regulation should not st stifle innovation, but at the same time, it should allow you to regulate a tech when it's relevant to national security. It should allow you to use the tech in order to be on the other side, it should allow you to, to use the tech to be inclusive. It should also have SDGs in mind, like sustainability and, and others. It is really a circle between the innovation, the regulations, and how you can adapt it to use cases and sectorial priorities. So to go back, AI is being used in healthcare, in uh, government services, in uh, financial sector, even in the defense sector. And there is an awareness and there is a push to use this AI. On the, on the uh, maybe a final point is today also the UAE is a very big advocate when it comes to safety of AI, ethics in the development and in the usage of AI, privacy and security as well. Falcon is the large language model series that uh, is being developed in the Technology Innovation Institute in uh, Abu Dhabi. We've been continuing and we've been very committed to the work that we're doing on large language models. UAE has proven to be a serious player um, in AI, right? And it is one of the major powers when it comes to the AI technology, but not only the technology. So it is proving itself on the technological fronts with developments like Falcon and others, but also from a governance and regulatory